Hello and welcome. Today I'll be doing a video on the Senate election according to polls. This is not my prediction. And before we get started, please go subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's get started. So, we're going to first bypass all the safe states. They most likely do not have any polling. So, for the Republicans, Idaho, Wyoming, South Dakota, and Nebraska... Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Wyoming, I mean, West Virginia, and that is all, oh, and Alaska. For the Democrats, Illinois, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Delaware. And that should be all. So, let's go into the lighter color states or the leans and likelies. So we'll start off with the Republicans. Kansas, there is no data out yet. So, because it's in the light shade, I would assume it'd be like likely or lean in the election. I think it'll come out likely, but as of now, I'd say lean. In Texas, it's likely corn is up from 8 to 13. Mississippi, Hyde Smith is up 10, so likely. Tennessee, no data. Kentucky, no data. So we don't have a nominee for the Democrats out of Kentucky yet, but I would assume it would go likely and Tennessee would go safe. Alabama, Sessions plus seven, but that's over Tumberville. I think there was other polling which did show plus eight to 10, but I don't know why it's not on here. So I would say this would be likely for the Republicans. Um, in South Carolina, there is no polling. Um, a lot indicates this will be a closer race, but it's also like a very safe Republican state. I would assume it'd go likely to average it out in between. South Carolina goes from 10 to 20 usually for Republicans. So it could become less than 15, probably will be like 10 points. Georgia's first, Colin, uh, Georgia's special, Collins plus two. Oh, this is over all of this, so just average this out. So like 40, I'm not going to do that because it'll definitely not be accurate. But uh, most likely it'll be probably a likely lean, maybe uh, between three and nine points uh, victory for the Republicans. And Georgia's second, Purdue plus three. So lean. And I'll just give both lean, actually. North Carolina, Cunningham plus two over Tom Tillis. So lean to the Democrats. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked on that. That was toss up. But, uh,. I think that's all for the Republicans, yeah. So, New Mexico, likely. Oh, that's not what I wanted to click on. Colorado, no polling, but it's indicated to be likely or lean. Most likely it'll come out in probably eight-point victory for I'm going to assume it's going to be Hickenlooper over Cory Gardner. Um, in Arizona, Kelly plus 11 over McSally. So likely. Oregon, no polling. This is probably going to be a safe state. New Me uh, Minnesota, not New Mexico. So in 2018, plus 10. It'll probably be around the same margin, maybe plus 8. Michigan, 
Yuri Peters up 10 points. Did I do Virginia? No. No data, but it will most likely come out in like a plus 11 or 12 for the Democrats. Um, New Jersey, Booker plus 23. Safe. New Hampshire, no data. And it probably will come out in the likely margin. Now to go into the toss-ups. Um, so we did North Carolina, Maine, Gideon plus 2.5 over Susan Collins. I don't know why I went blank there for a second. Iowa, uh, Greenfield plus one. So lean for the Democrats. And no data in Montana. I would think this one would go lean to the Republicans. It's really going to be a really close race here. Um, but there's also the general election and a popular governor for the Democrat side. So according to polling, it gives Republicans 49 seats to Democrats 51, giving the Democrats a plus four so thank you for watching. Please go like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Bye.